Hello, YouTube family. Gladly chosen. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment. Um, just give some type of love if you can. So, I'm doing this video today on power of life and death lying in the tongue. Not necessarily just that Bible verse, but just letting you know how effective the tongue can be. So, I'm going to go specifically to a Bible verse, and I'm going to go from there. So, just bear with me. Okay, here we go. It says, Proverbs 18.21, put it this way. The tongue has power of life and death. The stakes are high. The words can either speak life or your words can speak death. Or your words can speak to build each other up or to tear each other down. So, with that being said, I'm going to let my son say some things that he feels about the tongue. Um, once again, subscribe to the channel if you can. But I'm going to be coming back to elaborate on some of the things that he says. But I will let you know that I've seen a lot of people throughout my life. God has blessed me to be able to see um, the power of your words and um, how effective they can be. I've seen people say things um, that they feel they have not... Um, that they don't have to have consequences for, but they have consequences for the things that they say and the actions that they commit. Also, it says in the Bible that you will have to give account for every careless word that you say. So, with that being said, I'm going to let my son elaborate on some things, and I'm going to be reading some more scriptures about the tongue. So. Oh, yeah. So, so when we speak about the tongue, right? All right, so, yeah, basically, the tongue is the carrier of life and death. Whatever you say from this got real affection. For somebody to say that words don't hurt somebody or can't hurt you as bad is, you know, somebody getting punched. So, like, let's say I punch you in your chest, right? That punch is going to heal. That bruise, whatever... If you get a bruise from that punch, somebody punched me in my chest, I get a bruise from that punch, that, that bruise going to heal. Somebody can say something, you, get, you spend all day getting dressed, right? You spend all day looking good. Somebody say, I don't even like your, uh, your fit for real. I don't, you know, you ain't even looking good. The person that you did it for, yeah. but everyone else is giving you compliments, but those compliments you wouldn't take in. To be as special as the one that you wanted them from. So, yeah. yeah. So, that, you know, that word, that verbal, you know, whatever they said can hurt you way more than any physical punch could. That that word, that, that sentence that they said can hurt you for years, months, however long. But that punch, that bruise will probably hit. hit. Uh, 10 days 5 you put some ice on it so words is really really dangerous and I got a verse for you the words of the reckless pierce like swords but the tongue of the wise brings healing so if you're a wise man and you're not a fool a fool comes to, to destroy with his tongue a fool comes with pride and Haughtiness. A fool doesn't come to speak knowledge in the building. A fool comes to break down. So a wise man has understanding. And a wise man doesn't come to, you know, exchange the words of a fool. So if you if you feel somebody doesn't understand like the lunch lady or your teacher or your even your boss, whoever. You know, they're not understanding you. You know, they give you a hard time. You just want to, you know, you want to cuss them out or tell them something you don't. But, you know, you also feel that what if my job get or it's, it's some consequences behind what you say. So just if you feel somebody don't get it, some people aren't made to just explain to them. Some people, it's no hope for them to get or to understand what you're saying. That's just what it is. As a man... A fool is just going to 
he just like to express his opinion. So if somebody don't take pride in understanding, and they don't like to understand, and they just express their opinion, that's a fool. If you're wise, you're going to know when to be quiet. You're going to know when to understand somebody else. See, that's just what it is. But you can't just get mad and have your anger flood through you and just be like, I hate you. I hope you die. Yeah, you can still go apologize. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean that. Give them a hug. They still gonna remember what you said. They gonna be like, well, damn, do, do they think that? Do they really think that about you? Do they really hope that about you? It's meaning behind all words. I know when y'all crushes and y'all uh people be saying stuff about you, it hurts. Y'all act like y'all ain't never cried over words. Everybody done cried over words. Words hurt. Punches, ooh. Me hit me hard. But that's that word. Hurt. Everybody feels some type of way about words. And one more thing. That's just what it is. They say the wor- in the world, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Don't believe that. Words hurt more than anything. Yeah. It's true. Words matter. You tell somebody you hate them, they gonna think it. You tell somebody you hope they die, they gonna think they gonna think to die. Cause especially if they think of you like as they world or whatever, they look at you highly. They're hearing it all the time. They don't believe what you hear. Yeah. And your favorite person telling you this or telling you certain things, you know, that's that's all you're gonna hear, that's gonna flow through your head, so I'm going to find another verse right quick. So, I'm going to read the Bible verses and I'm going to be done with this video. So, I'm going to read some Bible verses or whatever. And it says, James 3.6, the tongue is also a fire, a world of wickedness among the parts of your body. It corrupts the whole body sets the course of one's life on fire. 1 Corinthians 14, 5 says, I wish that all of you could speak in tongues, but I would rather you have prophecy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues. Proverb 15, 4, a soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Acts 2, 3, they saw tongues like flames of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. Then what looked like flames or, or tongues of fire appeared and settled on. In the same way, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it boasts. Consider what is a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. James 3, 8, but no man can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil, full of deadly poison. But no one can tame their tongue. Psalm 4, 143 says, they sharpen their tongues like snakes. The venom of viper is on their lips. Their tongues sting like a snake. Um, the venom of a viper drips from their tongue. Psalm 64, 3, who sharpens their tongue like swords and aim their bitter words like arrows? They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim their bitter words like arrows. Who went their tongues like swords? Psalm 137, 6. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I do not, may my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I consider Jerusalem my highest joy, my tongue may stick to the roof of my mouth. If anyone consider himself righteous and yet does not brittle his tongue, he deceives himself and their religion is worthless. But if you claim to be religious and you don't control your tongue, that is James 1, 26. Psalm 15, 2, no, 52, 2 says, your tongue devises destruction like a sharpened razor. All day long you plot destruction. Your tongue cut, cuts like a sharp sword. Psalm twenty two fifteen. my strength is dried up like a, a, a pot shear and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. My strength has dried up. Romans 3.13. Their throats are open graves. Their tongues practice deceit. 
Their talk is foul, like the stench from. Uh, limitations 4-4. Four, four. The nursing infant's tongue clings in the thirst of root of the mouth. The children beg for bread, but no one gives it to them. The parched tongue of their little. Psalm 39-1. I said, I will watch my ways, so I will not sin with my tongue. I will muzzle, put a muzzle on my mouth while in the presence of. Psalm 45, 1. My heart is stirred by the noble theme as I recite my verses to the king. My tongue is a, the pen of a skillful writer because my words stir my heart. I will recite. Psalm 12, 3. May the Lord cut off all the flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Ezekiel 3, 26. I will make your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth and you will be silent and able and unable to rebuke them. For they are rebellious people. Psalm 64, 8. They will be made to stumble. Their own tongues turn against them. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. Mm. Their, uh, their own tongues will ruin them. Jeremiah 9, 8. The tongues are deadly arrows. They speak deception. With their mouths, they all speak uh, cordially to their neighbors. But in their hearts, they set traps for them. Proverbs 6, 17. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. Proverbs 21, 23. Who guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from distress. Um, Proverbs 26, 28. A lying tongue hates those it crushes, and a flattering mouth can ruin. 1 Corinthians 12.10 To another working of a miracle, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between the spirits, to another speaking in different, time, uh, different kinds of tongues, and to still another, the interpretation of tongues. Wow, so for somebody to be able to interpret tongues, bro, he gives one person the power. Psalm 57.4 My soul is among the lions. I lay down with, with Randalulus. Ooh, beasts with those men whose teeth are. I am forced to dwell among, uh, I don't know this word. R A V E N O U S. Ravenous beasts. Men whose teeth are sheer in arrows, whose tongues are sharp like swords. I am surrounded by fierce lions who greedily devour human prey. Wow. So. This is the longest video I have done. This is a video about tongue, um, the tongue. It is very powerful. Don't believe sticks and stones will break my bones because words never hurt me. Don't apply that to you. Don't apply that to nobody else. I appreciate my son for being here, um, speaking upon it from a standpoint of a 14-year-old. I'm speaking from a 34-year-old standpoint. But either way, even though we have 20 years age difference or 21, we, st we still see it as the same way, regardless if you're 4, 14, 24, yeah. 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94, 104. Your tongue is still. Yeah, and for y'all that feel like, well, what if I need to just say this, this person saying this, this person doing this to me, this person doing this, and I just want to say this back in, um, what is it? When you get back to somebody. Revenge. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so when you get back at somebody just because they said something to you, so I just got to say this to this person because, you know, they said this to me. Well, look at this. Proverbs 29, 9. If a wise man has an argument with a fool, the fool only rages and laughs, and there is no quiet. So some people... You gonna waste Some your time arguing with them because it's never gonna stop. It's not going. It's just no hope for them. It's hope for them in the eyes of the Lord. They can get to the Lord if they get to the Lord. Yeah, it's hope for them. But as for you to put hope into them, oh, as a fool, it's just not gonna be no hope for them. So that's just what me and my mom wanted to just speak on y'all about. You know, the tongue, the words matter. Words hurt. Words do affect people worse. Then actions, actions, yeah, you can show by actions, actions is easier to decipher, but 
words hurt. So y'all keep in mind when y'all get mad, just make sure you cool down. Make sure you don't say stuff you mean because it really mess up people's head when you tell them certain things, especially your loved ones. So if you ever look at this video, just, you know, count to 10. Look at this video. Remember, just read you the Bible. Just go read. Go do something before you say something that you don't mean because even though you angry, that don't give it uh, the right to say that. Okay, That don't give you the right to say that just because you just want some type of All right. But yeah, I'm, we done with this video, y'all. So I'm going I'm to get back at y'all about another topic. But this is just what I wanted to speak on y'all about. But gladly chosen speaks. And we'll see y'all this week. All right.